Good evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a small, medium-sized tech company, Silicon Valley. The topic I wish to address to you is drones kill Al Qaeda number two. So today, drones killed supposedly uh, the number two man in Al Qaeda, but no, on further inspection. If you look at various sources printed prior to this killing, um, he would rank in the top five or ten, perhaps. But um, he's listed last, for example, on the Wikipedia article for what it's worth on um, in the, pretty much the whole article. Let's see here. Where is him? Mr. Ali B. One. Okay, he's in the footnotes. And he's about halfway through the article. Well, let's see. Wait a minute. Leadership. Leadership. He's not in the leadership section at all. He's in the... Um, Pakistan intelligence official said that the top Al Qaeda strategist may have been killed in Pakistan on 5th of June. And when they say that the top Al Qaeda, so at this point, they're elevating his position considerably. It, Abu Yahya Alibi was a member of the Libyan independent fighting group. And at first, I got really mad at myself when I said, How did I miss it? He's the number two guy in Al Qaeda. But in fact, he isn't. They're just making it sound like he is. So it's just one piece of misinformation after another. So let us review. First piece of misinformation that you can find for what it's worth on Wikipedia and other sources. I've seen it elsewhere. Um, is that this whole Al-Qaeda was basically welded together more tightly than it actually was. It was more a loose-knit group of small uh, groups of determined um, jihadists, uh, and um, but they weren't actually a cohesive organization until the U.S. announced they were, and this boosted their own stock in the extremist world, and they actually became what they had been described as previously. That's what they say. Uh, many credible people think that the organization was made into a more fleshed out beast because then it can be prosecuted with acts like RICO, Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization where you can do things you can't do with just prosecuting individual terrorists. So um, Abu Yaha Alibi started in the Libyan Independent Fighting Group. Uh, I'm sorry, the Libyan Islamic Fighting Group. And this group uh, uh, is now who is largely the people who are armed in Libya by the United States and Qatar and Britain and France to take out Gaddafi. Um, so this is a mechanic of uh, a sin of omission. The, we, the, if you go to the BBC article today about Abu Yahya al-Libi, you will see there's not a single mention of the LIFG in there. And the guy who runs Tripoli and is the main favorite of Qatar, who was the guys who sent in uh, thousands of troops on the ground illegally against you in 1973 and boasted about it and now being rewarded because the people we put in power there have been handed over about ten trillion dollars worth of oil gold and then of course the treasure they had was stolen they had the largest treasure in the world in Benghazi from the days of Alexander the Great one coin alone from this hoard was worth 275,000 notch and they had a room full of it and um, that was stolen. So uh, whoever got that's already been paid. But these people, of course, are going to reward the United States and Qatar and France and Britain because they're going to get a percentage. There's about 10 trillion there. So let's give a trillion to the U.S., a half a trillion to Great Britain, half a trillion to France, a half a trillion to everybody else, a trillion to Qatar. And then we'll split the four trillion amongst each other. How's that sound, boys? <clears throat> oh, really? Safe Al Gaddafi's out there in the desert, and uh, uh, well, uh, let's uh, send him over here and put him on trial. We killed his dad. We killed two of his brothers. We killed his nieces and nephews. We uh, overthrew his government uh, using foreign enemies to help us. So we're going to bring him to us to try him. We, who have been given $10 trillion, are going to grab the guy we took it from and bring him here and try him and 
imprison him for having been robbed by us. Uh, now this is of course extreme, but <clears throat> sometimes you have to be emotional. Um, so at any rate, uh, the irony of all of this is the timing. The timing is that this weekend, as many of you probably know, Jeremy Scahill on a program on MSNBC, which I think is called Up, um, uh, accused Obama of mass murder in Yemen uh, by targeting a drone strike that at most killed one militant uh, and uh, killed 15 children and 20 women, something like that. And he went there himself. He was very upset about it. And I absolutely agree that uh, targeted strikes, um, and now they've got these fancy words for them, signature strikes, um, uh, are cold-blooded murder. And um, it, you, this is just totally against everything we stand for. It's totally unnecessary. This is a small group of people. Um, so I think it's very interesting that the, the, that the New York Times threw Obama under the bridge, uh, probably leading to Romney now, uh, or somebody there legitimately has a conscience still once in a while, a printed on their front page an article about Obama's drone program um, that really took him uh, uh, to task for blatantly saying that every Tuesday, uh, you know, Tuesday's assassination Tuesday, and he goes through the list of people to kill, and then he sleeps very soundly at night, making him sound like a murderous psychopath. Um, so, uh, I absolutely feel these drone strikes are some of the most horrible things imaginable in the deepest science fiction movie. And I called for the abolition of this uh, years ago. And I have a uh, video called uh, Call for the Abolition of Assassination by Robots. And um, I think it's quite interesting that they've boosted this guy. They gave him a promotion, Al-Qaeda, to number two, right before they wheeled up his dead body. Uh, because this justifies these five ultra-violent strikes, one after another in Pakistan. And I think Obama's done like 500 strikes and Bush did like 50. And that's why they call him George Bush on steroids. Google that one. Obama is George Bush on steroids. Thank you very much. Good night and good luck. And don't believe the hype.